Hey guys, what's up? It's Sam, and I'm going to teach you how to make a pretty cool background. It's uh, easy to do, too. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this uh, Windows wallpaper, which is... Everyone has it. It's You see it everywhere, and we're going to put a twist to it. We're going to uh, put a broken glass thing over it, so it looks like it's glass, and the screen broke. And then we're going to take Neon Cat, and... Neon Cat's gonna be flying through the glass, so Neon Cat broke your wallpaper. So, uh, I don't think we need this. Nope. <laughs> See ya. And, um, we're just gonna take this as our background, and we're gonna take the glass, and just either drag it in over it, or since I already have it opened, I'm just gonna select all and paste it here. Um, yeah. <laughs> is since it's uh black and we just want it to be over the thing we can change it to uh screen and see it already looks better um we can uh change here the size we want by pressing control or option t and uh that brings it to free transform to keep the aspect ratio when transforming it hold down shift and just take this corner and make it bigger or smaller. I'm going to move it to here and make it a bit smaller. Since um since I don't want to see this, since it, we want to make sure it's broken, we're just going to make it black back there. So I'm going to zoom in and just take this polygon lasso and quickly just select all around here. Okay, now that we have that all selected, we're going to make sure we have the background layer selected and delete. Oh, no, it won't let me, so since that's the background, if that happens to you, you can just duplicate the layer and delete this guy. Delete doesn't mean it's right. Delete. Pain. Okay, so we have got that selected and press delete. Now it looks like... Whoa, it's broken. What happened there? Somebody broke my desktop background. The wallpaper's broken. Okay, now that that's like that, we can take our Neon Cat and just select the parts we want here with the same tool. Since these are these colors are pretty, you know, distinct with each other. They're distinct. <laughs> They're different, okay? You can tell a lot like that's red that's blue there's nothing in between it's like 8 bit or 16 bit excuse me if i'm wrong and we can use magnetic polygon tool which pretty much is like the magic tool but more accurate well not more accurate it's like the magic tool because watch it can see where the colors change and select for you but it is more accurate like you're showing it where to go and you can also click either way it just makes it easier I just didn't use it earlier because that would have been glitchy because it's the same color yeah Okay, so we've got our Neon Cat selected, so, uh, you can press, okay, just makes it sure, I'm gonna duplicate it, because the background layer, it's locked, and it's always a pain, so, I'm just going to control V, and control C, never mind, control C, or option shift, 
and control V or option V over here to paste. Yeah, 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 and the end cap's here. But wait a minute, what's that? It's white down here. What is this? And it's choppy. So we'll just get rid of that choppiness. Click to select. And delete that. But wait a minute, we still have these white things here. What is this? What is this? Okay. Fix that. To fix that, it's pretty damn easy. So I didn't like that. Press delete to go back. Looks like I put that. I'm just gonna select the area around it. Doesn't matter as long as you get all of it in there. And press this back one here and uh, select this color, the one that you want it to be, since it's all the same. It's really easy. And then control delete. Just control delete. Did I get it all? No. Who cares? Okay, same thing here. Okay, so now we've got our neon cat. Yay! Um, we're gonna put the neon cat behind this layer. Stop calling me. Okay. What? It still shows up. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. So, what's going to be behind that? We're going to come back here again. I guess we can't see this. And... Hooray! I'm back to selecting. That is annoying. Bring this back. Okay, now we can make this layer visible again. So we can delete that. And delete. What is that? Oh, wrong button. There you go. Oh, darn. Still a bit choppy. Hmm. You guys will do it right the first time. What am I? Oh, press. Hey, if you like this better, you can do what I'm doing if you watched. But if not, just do it the right time the first time. Now, what is this? Neon cat, you broke my desktop. And we're, we're, we're done. We're done. Unless you want to make this, yeah, no, we're done. We're done for now. That would be too advanced. Um, I'm going to put the horse guy here in the corner just because I like the horse guy. You know? Be like, hey, there you go. Um, just a little quick text now. Just a little text. If it loads, okay, there it loaded. Damn, should take forever. Will not load. Okay, yeah, it loaded. So, move that to this guy. Control T again. Move it back. And to give it a 3D look, we'll go to bending options. And pretty much bevel and emboss gives it that 3D look. Contour, make it even more. Shading on the opposite side. I want to have a shadow. No inner. Mm, glow maybe? No, glow sucks. And. Yeah, we're good. Yay, we are done. We are done. Just save it like this. In, I like.
like PNG the best. I just like it the best. And there. Congratulations. You are officially done.